Welcome to the online video lecture series on electromagnetic waves. In the last few sessions, we discussed about Coulomb's law, and based on the Coulomb's law, we discussed some problems also. And just uh, Coulomb's law is just a force. Okay, please recall it is just a force between two charges. Let us say there is a charge Q1, there is a charge Q2. What is the force between these two? What is the force between these two? Whether A is on B or B is on A, that doesn't matter. Who is having more force, that doesn't matter. The net force between the two charges can be given as Q1, Q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square. And since it is radially going in all directions, we used to say AR cap. <coughs> okay, this is the Coulomb's force. Please remember, Coulomb's force is force between any two charges Q1 and Q2. Now I am going to discuss about a new term called electric field intensity and it is one of the important term which we use throughout our course. So we give a symbol E capital letter E which is a vector electric field intensity E is a vector a small discussion. <clears throat> Assume there are two boxing persons. Okay, a boxer. Q1 is a boxer. Q2 is a boxer. Both are fighting between each other. What is the force if Q1 is giving a punch or Q2 is getting a punch? What is the net force is nothing but Coulomb's force. Okay, please remember. Two different boxers, they are fighting each other is nothing but force. But my question, it is not a... Uh, say a competition, okay. it is a practice session. Mr. Q1 is a boxer, he want to get it trained, one example, okay. he want to get it trained, so he will prefer a coach. Okay. In the practice session, there will be a coach. The coach is the reference person now. Now what coach will say, hello Q1, come on, I want to test your strength, okay? I will have a small bag like that and he will hold like this, come on, beat, come on, beat, he will try. Yeah, your strength is good, yeah, okay, you go, you come, come on, beat like this, okay? Now, what is the reference there, coach? What is the role of a coach? He is a testing person to define strength of that person, okay? So, this is between two different persons. Now I am going to give a new concept that is Mr. Q1 want to check his strength. Listen my word. Mr. Q1 want to check his strength with whom? With a reference person like a referee or like a trainer or a coach or a faculty. Somebody a reference. Okay, you are good. You are bad. Like this, okay. He is nothing but a test person QT. Now also there is a force. But QT will say how much strength Q1 is having because QT is a known person. Okay, what is that known person? He is going to have some charge. Okay, usually we'll take one Coulomb, which is a reference, one positive charge. Okay, it's just a reference because he is a known person. Now, what is the force between these two? Q1, QT divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r cap. There is no difference. Just the same formula. But what is the beauty? Here two are unknown. Here one is known called one cool. Now if I just slightly manipulate f divided by qt equal to q1 since it is only one charge. I no need to mention q1. Otherwise you can mention divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r cap. This says force between any two charge. This says force on test charge. Don't say divided by. Force on test charge. Force on test charge by whom? By the basic charge called Q1. Now, this is going to give you, this is going to give you the strength of Q1, that reference. Okay, that person will say, the coach will say, after getting the reference, yeah, your strength is good. No, no, you have to still practice. Okay, he can say, what is his strength? Similarly, this can say, what is the strength of Q1? Now, this we are going to call it as E. What is E? It is force on test charge. 
which is called strength of the electric field created by Q1. It is called electric field intensity. Okay, this is the basic definition. Now I am going to rewrite this as E is nothing but it's a vector. Okay, force is a vector by H. Q1, no need because it's only a one charge. So Q is enough divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square here cap. The formula is ready. Now, who is Q, the given charge? Where is another charge? It is just a test charge, that is force on test charge. So, this is nothing but electric field intensity. Okay, please remember. Definition of electric field. Electric field intensity is strength of the electric field, which means if there is a charge Q and if it is going to use some electric field, can we go on to hold this? No, it is an imaginary. Okay, just only field race. What is the strength? Is nothing but E. So, who is electric field intensity? It is strength of the electric field. It is representation of the electric field. That's what I can say. It is a vector. It is force on test charge. Now you can say, sir, what is force unit? Newton. Already we have studied. What is charge unit? Coulomb. So what is electric field intensity unit? Newton per Coulomb. But as for the SI unit system, we won't accept two scientists named Newton Coulomb. So a derived unit is nothing but volt per meter. If you want, you can just derive this also. It's very simple. Charge Q, we can just make it as capacitance. Okay. Uh, I hope you know. Q equal to C. Right? Capacitance, voltage and the charge. So numerator is nothing but uh, Q. I can read as C. C is nothing but a farad. V is nothing but volt. Right? Voltage. I am just going to write the units. Remember, your numerator is Q. I am replacing by CV. CV is nothing but C for farad, V voltage. Denominator 4 pi no unit. Epsilon naught is nothing but farad per meter. R square is meter square. So overall, farad, farad get cancelled. One meter is getting cancelled. Remaining is ultimate meter. Okay. It's very simple. But it is not there in any textbook. But people should know that. Please remember these. Okay. So, who is electric field intensity? It is force on test charge. It is representation of electric field. Which defines strength of the electric field. Its unit is volt per meter. Please remember this, okay? This is the new concept we are doing. Based on that, we can do some problem also, okay? We will see that problem. Right. We will do one simple problem. Find electric field intensity, which means the question is find E, okay? Please remember. Find electric field intensity at origin, at origin due to at origin due to minus 0.8 micro coulomb charge located at 18 comma 2 comma 3 in free space and also calculate its direction and magnitude okay so this is the uh, simple problem <coughs> Uh, there are two charges, okay. One is minus 0.8 micro coulomb located at 18 comma 2 comma 3. Another charge they want to mention. Don't expect that it should be one coulomb. It is understood there is another charge, but no need to mention it is one coulomb. Or if anything is the same value. Really. In that place, what is the electric field intensity? It is origin they told which is 0 comma 0 comma. Which means, what is the question? Find electric field intensity at origin. Which means, at where? At origin. Because aromatic is very important. Okay? At origin. So, this is the diagram. Now, let us do the calculation. E equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square. Yeah, okay. Just a substitution. Like how we did for the force, the same work. Okay? There were two charges here, only one charge. That's all. So, E equal to, what is Q? Minus 0.8 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 4 pi epsilon r. R square, you keep it pending. I should find the r cap. 
okay so what is air cap is the general question and a to b means b minus a okay 0 minus 18 let us say minus 18 ax cap 0 minus 18 okay understood so reverse next 0 minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 ay cap 0 minus 3 is nothing but minus 3 az cap divided by root of 18 square plus 2 square plus 3 square okay so if you just calculate minus 18 ax cap minus 2 ay cap minus 3 az cap divided by root of 337 okay that calculation if you do this is r here it is r square so it will be 337 okay it is what i should do the same procedure just calculate everything this area okay and then multiply by minus 18 multiply by minus 2 and then multiply by minus 3 okay that's the work we may have to do okay it's a general calculation which we already discussed so the result will be electric field intensity e will be 20.95 ax cap plus 2.327 ay cap plus 3.491 az cap volt per meter this is the electric field intensity so the answer is ready volt per meter at the same time they ask one more question what is its direction and what is its magnitude okay so magnitude is very simple magnitude of e is nothing but just a root of all the values just how we calculated the denominator 20.95 the whole square 2.327 the whole square 3.491 the whole square is nothing but 21.327 volt per meter okay this is the answer and one more they ask this is magnitude and what is direction is the one more question that is the e vector divided by magnitude of e will be the direction of that particular unit vector so this is the usual question how to find a direction is nothing but how to find the unit vector how to find the unit vector is nothing but vector divided by its magnitude okay so if you do 20.95 ax cap plus 2.327 ay cap plus 3.491 az cap divided by 21.364 okay if you calculate the result will be 0.98 ax cap 0.1089 ay cap 0.163 az cap there is no unit it's just a direction okay so please remember this is the way we have to do this particular problem make a note of that next topic electric field intensity okay electric field intensity due to system of charge okay what is that meaning system of charge the simplest idea assume there is only one charge okay you say it is q you can write small q or capital Q, that doesn't matter, please remember that. Then I would like to say electric field intensity E equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square AR cap. One charge due to the test charge. Assume there are two charges Q1, Q2, Q3. There are three charges. Now, what is the total electric field intensity if they ask E equal to E1? plus E2 plus E3 because if three charges mean three electric field will come assume if you have a test charge here it is understood how much is this person how much is this person how much is this person there are only one charge here three charges so if you overall if you write Q1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R1 square AR1 cap Q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R2 square AR2 cap Q3 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R3 square A R3 cap. Okay. So this is the procedure we are having. Now, sir, there are three charges. If it is 10 charges, there will be 10 individual charges. But there is a problem. If there are many charges where you can't even count infinite charges, it's accumulated. 
we say continuous distribution. What is it we call? Continuous distribution. Under that situation, we should handle this problem in a different way. This is not Q1, Q2, Q3. No. Many charges continuously it is distributed. This is discrete. Discrete means separate. This is continuous together. So what I should do? One technique is in a straight line. System of charge. Straight line system. Another is in a area. Covers the area. Another is in a three dimension which I can't draw here. I am sorry. In a three dimension which is nothing but a volume. So we call it as line charge density because it is group you know density in a straight line line charge density rho L this is surface charge density rho S this is volume charge density rho v so here after we do have three different types okay if individual charge means q if it is a group rho l is possible rho s is possible rho v is possible please remember and if it is individual charge we say coulomb units rho l is nothing but coulomb per meter coulomb per meter square coulomb per meter q please remember. this is the technique we should because charge per unit length, what is line charge density? Charge per unit length, charge per unit area, per that is the reason meter square. Charge per unit volume, sir. I want no doubt, sir. There are many charges you told me. Yes. What is the net charge? Then there is one small formula. What is that formula? Q is equal to integral rho L dl4. But just a recall. If you just analyze total charge with respect to the length, if you do, you will get the Q. If you have a doubt, you just verify. What is rho L unit? Unit which you analyze. Coulomb per meter. So please try to understand that. What is its rho L? Coulomb per meter. What is length? DL is nothing but length. We already discussed that. Tabular column. Okay. Length is meter. Meter, meter cancel. What is the result? Q coulomb 4. Okay. Like that also we can do. What is the procedure to find the net charge? This is the procedure integration. Sir, if it is surface, what is the net charge? Q is equal to integral rho s ds. Hello my dear, I won't write double integral. It is understood. Here there is double integral because ds. This is single integral d. One more. Sir, what is the net for the volume? Then it is Q divided by integral. Actually triple integral. Rho v dv. Okay. So this is the procedure you should analyze. If that is the case, what is electric field intensity E for rho l is the same procedure e for length for line length you can write as simple as you write the thing down about that e is equal to instead of q what i should write integral rho l dl divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared what is e for rho s e is equal to integral rho s ds divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r cap here also a r Instead of writing Q, I am writing system of charges. This is line charge density, this is surface charge density. Last one, E for rho V, that is volume charge distribution. Then E, all are vector, please remember, equal to integral. Strictly speaking, triple integration, understood, okay? Don't expect me to write rho V dV divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R square A R cap, okay? So, with this formula, we can calculate electric field and for the surface charge and the volume charge. More detailed discussion we will see in the next session. Thank you.